How you going? Hi, boys. Yeah, that was a, a police cop with a dog. What, what, what's your name? Don't you play this game? You from another land? Got you like this country band? Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel. Sorry I missed the upload last week guys, I just got super busy with life. I'm going somewhere in a week's time, so I just had to kind of concentrate on tattooing so I could run up the bands real quick. I'm not going to tell you where I'm going, you're going to have to wait and see, but I'm going to take you guys along with me, so it's going to be fun. So yeah, make sure you stay tuned for that guys. Alright, so this is going to be a night vlog. Zach's heading around now, we're going to go skate, we're going to go get something to eat first, then we're going to hit a few street spots around the area. We're going to go hit some little street spots and I'm going to show you guys how to make any ledge skatable. Are you filming my food again? Yeah. Zach's whack eating food. Yeah. Zach's eating habit. Can't get me eating. <laughs> Why? Just some B-roll. Alright guys, we just pulled up to the location. We just uh doing a bit of a recon, waiting for some people to leave. So this is a fairly new building guys. Uh, it has sick lines, it's got sick ledges. I'll show you guys in a second. These ledges are just a bit rough though, like they're rough as, so when you when you ollie up on them, you just kind of stop, but I'll give you guys a little tour right now. So to start off, you've got this sick ledge here. You've got another sick ledge down the side here with some lighting, some nice flat ground to skate. You've got a sick bit of um, astro, astro turf, yeah, astro turf. This would be so sick though if it was cemented because you could just come up and ollie over that, that ledge there. Come down, you've got another couple of ledges here. If you're goofy, you can hit this one. If you're regular, you can hit that one. Or if you're goofy, you can hit that one. And if you're regular, you can hit this one also, depending on your skill set. And then, yeah, you can kind of do lines through here. You can probably like hit this ledge, do a flat ground trick, and then hit the ledge at the end there. And then, you've got another couple of ledges here. You've got this one here, you've got that one here. And then you've got like a little mellow ledge here also, you can like ollie up in manual. If you please, some more flat ground. And there's another couple of ledges down here, I'll show you guys real quick. Also a sick stair set here, but um, yeah, there's a drain, some of this stuff, a set of four or five, a rail, some more of that stuff, and then you have this ledge here also. Goes all the way along. So yeah, tidy little spot here. Some of the ledges just need to be uh, finessed a little bit, make them a bit smoother for skating. We've got some copper dogs down here. <laughs> Literally some police with their canines, their dogs. They're just training them at the park over there. So we're gonna stick to skating and fixing ledges up on this side. So yeah. Well, we're gonna start with this ledge here. What you're gonna need guys is gonna have to go down to your local Home Depot if you live in America or your local Bunnings if you live in Australia and you're gonna pick up a concrete rubbing stone. This was like 22 bucks or something. So yeah, you're gonna need one of these and you're gonna need a ledge that you wanna skate and then you're just gonna to have to sand it back to your heart's content. Just keep a, just keep a look out there. <laughs> That was a that was a, a police cop with a dog. I was just standing in the ledge and he just kind of cruised past. He didn't seem to like notice what we were doing at all. Good to go. As you can see, guys, this is quite a painstaking, uh, strenuous um, effort. But uh, yeah, you can tell here. If I can get the camera down. There we go. That hard kind of edge, which was originally on this. Uh, on the ledge here, it's now gone, it's all smoothed out, so I'm just going to wipe all the dust off this and wax it up and give it a crack. We've got the duster, a bit of the dust action.
Got it smoothened out now guys. I'm just going to chuck some of this candle wax on it as a first layer. I'm not going to use my good wax on it yet because I want to lay down a first coat with this. I don't know if you guys over in America have these, but we have these things called Christmas bugs and they happen to pop up around Christmas time. In Check swarms. them out. Yeah, in swarms. Oh, Zach's got one here. Can you see it? Yeah, they're, no. attra they're attracted to bright light and they kind of buzz around and... There's some shiny ones too, eh? They look metallic. Yeah. These ones are kind of, they're brown, Coca-Cola brown. Oh, it's buzzing. One? Yeah. He's got the passport knife here. Yeah, it's a mini, it's a mini straight razor passport, dude. It's a grip tape knife, guys. It's very cool. Yeah. But I thought it was going to be like that. Yeah, no. Nah, how much was that? Ten bucks. It's all right. It's a bit of a skateboard um, accessory, if you will. Veron said he wanted one, but I said uh, you can't be trusted. No, you with can't, that. you can't be trusted with a blade. He's only fifteen, man. You're Vietnamese. <laughs> so when you wax a ledge, guys, you generally want to wax where your nose or tail is going to be. So you're going to pick a spot at the edge of the ledge. You want to go in like maybe four or five inches, probably more. You wanna wax the top and you wanna wax the side and generally anywhere that your wheels are gonna to touch too, you're gonna to wanna to wax up. Oh. Should I send it? Yeah, I feel that. You can, you can hear it when you lock in. All right. And then it for the locals. About to take my first maiden voyage on this ledge here. Wish me luck, guys. Maiden voyage. As you can see guys, with a bit of uh, elbow grease, we now have a sick ledge to skate here in session. I'm not too sure what's going to happen once they start noticing people hitting these ledges. They might cap them. Really surprised they weren't capped already when we got here, so that's a bonus for us. So the lights went out guys, and uh, I don't know if I have enough energy to, to uh, sand down this massive ledge. Look how long it is. Goes through a little bit, huh? Boy! Finally. Yep. Now I can go to bed. Ready? Bow! Oh, that really hurt and it's wet. Oh yeah. Condensation. Oh. There's bulls out here. This is Zach. This is Philip. Right? The vlog hasn't seen Philip for a while. What's happening? I like your t-shirt. I haven't even kidding. A t-shirt. Yeah. Chief for coup. Sorry guys, let you all down, I'm too fatigued. I've been at work all day, try to get a skate in tonight for you guys to make up for the video I missed last week. <sighs> Getting old. All right guys, about to call it a night right now. I've got to drop Philip home. He's come from, where'd you come from? The pub. Which pub? Gregory Hills. Oh, you're at Gregory, at the Grego. <laughs> it's been a while. Haven't seen him on the channel in a while, hey guys. Alright guys, make sure uh, you leave a thumbs up on this video, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, all that good stuff. Yeah. Until next time guys, we'll catch you in the next video. You gotta hit the lens. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is it for the outro guys, we're just Macca's running in there. Macca's run is a quintessential part of Australian culture. Friday, Saturday nights, even Thursday nights, you gotta go for a Macca's one, run with your boys no, in the car. No, we found our goal. Chief, chief in the back. Huh.
There he is, look at him. Gone. 